bicep trainers. Let's start with the ab trainer. The unit is made of a semi-rigid but flexible silicone material. On the back, you have six electrical stimulation points in silver. In the center is the battery bay where you'll install the included CR2032 coin cell battery. The unit comes with a plastic key to open the door, but if you lose it, you can also use a coin. The battery is installed flat or positive side up, and you should hear a beep if it's seated correctly. The cardboard pad is used for storage after you apply the conductive sticky pads to the ab stimulator. Then you can store everything in the included zip top bag. In this packet are the sticky pads, and the elastic belt can be worn over the unit so that it doesn't move or fall off during use. The instruction manual is illustrated and it's pretty clear, but note that the English section starts about halfway through the booklet. The control interface is simple. There is only a plus and minus button to control the impulse intensity. The unit turns on as soon as you press the plus button, and it starts at level 1 but can go up to level 20. The minus button decreases the level, and if you press and hold it, turns the unit off. Installing the conductive sticky pads is quick and simple. They're shaped exactly like the sections on the machine, so make sure you put the correct pads in the appropriate place. Start by peeling the gel pad off its backing sheet, then match it up to the gray template on the back of the machine and press down firmly, removing any air bubbles trapped underneath. Work slowly so that the pads don't fold and stick to themselves and try not to touch the sticky parts with your fingers. Then you can peel the clear front layer off each pad. Here's a quick look at my abs before starting training with the pad. I have a pretty busy schedule and don't really have much time to work out, so this machine should be able to help me out by giving my abs a workout while I'm working at my desk. As you can see, I don't have much definition, and it looks like maybe I've put on a little winter weight. When applying the machine, the plus button on the controls should be facing up. Place it just below your ribcage and press down to your belly button. Now, all you have to do is press the plus button. If you can't feel the pulses, increase the level until you do. At about level 10, you can see the machine working pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's a really odd sensation to have your muscles contract on their own. And at higher levels, it may actually feel somewhat painful. So choose the level that works best for you. The machine will cycle through a number of different sequences. Some are fast and some are slow. You can optionally use the elastic waistband to hold the machine in place and apply pressure if you feel like the gel pads are coming loose. The entire workout lasts about 15 minutes from start to finish, and the machine will beep and turn off at the end. When removing the ab trainer, use both hands and peel from both sides rather than pulling on just one section at a time. I've been using the trainer for about 6 weeks, 3 times a week, and you can see there's a little more definition in my abs. This is 